Well lads, what's the crack? My name is RG Runner, and welcome back to Life is Strange and today we'll be playing through episode 3 and as you can see um, as the time passes in the game it reflects uh, on the main menu as well. That is a, a very uh, n nice thing, it's uh, very unique. I've seen the odd game do it before but it's uh, still a pretty unique thing to do. Not, not a lot of games incorporate the, the passage of time in the main menu. The last game that I saw do that was Resident Evil 8 Village, which is a new enough game actually, but uh, prior to that, I've never seen anything quite like this before. But either way, uh, just a quick recap of episode 2. Uh, we're getting further down the rabbit hole with Nathan and what he did to Kate, and of course, what the storm is going to bring to our fair county of... What county are we in? I, 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 I don't know, well, whatever part of the states we're in, apparently, uh, wherever we are, it's going to get wiped out by a huge uh, tornado or something like that, and we have to do everything that we can to stop it or evacuate. In a way, the only way to find out the mystery of the game and unravel it is by playing through each and every episode. There's another three episodes to go, episode three, four, and five. I'll try and get as much covered in episode three as possible. I'll, I'll try try and make this a two-parter rather than a three-parter like the previous two episodes here but I can't make any promises either way let's get right into it episode three chaos theory girl storm furries okay so then there is one photo opportunity there in the previous episodes of life is strange Whoa. we call film little pieces of time I'm so sick of people trying to control me don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You have saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey. Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Okay, so the start of a brand new day, or at least a brand new night. And again, the music has changed up a nice bit now. I hope it's the. I hope they do the same thing for each and every episode. Have a new sort of uh, theme for each um, intro, or each episode, I should say. Sorry. Wow, that looks pretty. That looks gorgeous. Again, I can't get over how pretty the game looks for the art style of it. Amazing. A bunny rabbit? I didn't know we have a bunny rabbit. When did we get a bunny rabbit? What about? Oh. Waking up from a bit of a nightmare. Oh, I hope Kate's doing alright. Okay, 
Okay, get that you ass in gear now. All over this. So I better get moving. All right, time to shave the world. Nobody messes with me, bitch. We still haven't cleaned it up yet. Now, I'm guessing all of these are going to be the same, pretty much. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Yes, I mean, Sam may be a bit odd. The uh, janitor, or the custodian, if you will. But no, th this is beyond weird here. And this... No way I have to clean this up. Shit off. Time to get Samuel Da Vinci to repaint. Samuel Da Vinci. Oh, <laughs> oh so you already tried. Jesus, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Wait, is the plant dead? It looks dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. Oh, that's what happened. It got too much nutrients. You gonna do the same thing to your hey, rabbit? Bunny. Kate will be back. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Okay, so it's Kate's bunny. We're looking after it for her. Oh, right. No. Turn off. Save the planet, save the trees and whatnot. And just get one quick look at ourselves. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Pretty and hard plenty to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. <sighs> All the twos and fro's of college dorm life, especially after okay, Kate tried to off dark. herself. Let there be light. I mean, me personally, I'm not really afraid of the dark. In a sense, I mean, everybody is afraid of something here. We all have our own fears, but. I wouldn't be afraid of the dark in like a town or or let's say a shopping center or something like that. But let's say if I'm out and about in my own house like in the middle of the countryside in the middle of nowhere where I'm pretty vulnerable and I have no idea who's around me. That's when I'm afraid of the dark. Hey, Max? Hold on, I want to read this. Really hurting over this. Waiting for you, Kate. Oh. Okay. Time to talk to uh, Dana. So Dana, how are you feeling? Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. This is I both want to see sad this. and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pushed out. If you need any money, let me know. Logan. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Okay, let's have uh, another nose around here. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Okay, what else can we look at? Anything else relating to Kate? That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. As long as you don't go to the Vortex Halloween party, that's all hey, fine. Dana. Either way. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Okay, I guess, yeah, we should definitely blame Victoria because while she was not directly involved, she sure as hell fanned the flames. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's mm, complicated. That's definitely complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. The people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? 
Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. All right, adios. Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Waiting for you, Kate. No money. No, no money. Wait, no, no money, no money. What? Okay, so they're all waiting for Kate. So praying for a fast recovery, Kate. Same thing here, Kate. Just want you to know you're in our thoughts. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Oh, this is barricaded. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's God. still alive. No, oh, they don't. Jeez, that's too far. So much hypocrite. So much hypocrite, yeah. Damn right. Because it seems like Max was her only friend. Wherever you go, there I am. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Wait, can we enter? Wait, can you not lock these rooms? So anyone can pretty much just walk Since into anyone's dorm or protect, room at any time. I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. My cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. <laughs> now I can't take them back because she'll know I did it. <sighs> Victoria's... Cookie monster. <laughs> Those boots are made for walking runways. Okay, let's see. What do we have in the These drawer? Socks cost more than my wardrobe. Uh huh. Oh, photos. This could be a good I'll lead. Title this one: Portrait de la Assholes. Hmm. Very good title. Very artistic. Whoa, very true. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Okay, so that could be something. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Okay, what else? What else? What about her laptop? This would be a good place to start as well. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. From Victoria to Taylor. Hey, sweet tea, what up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. It was like watching a reality show, and I've never seen the campus so quiet, like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate and that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. Oh, for fuck's sake. What a trip that was today. Seeing Max and Kate like that. I need a drink too. Let me know at the time. Oh, yeah. I I, I hate it. I, I absolutely hate this kind of stuff. Basically, bullies aren't sorry until they know the true extent of their actions. That's the thing. Because it's all... Ha has and and he has until somebody takes extreme action, whether it be by taking their own life or taking out their grievances on the bullies themselves, and maybe taking it further than they ever thought they could. Very deep. It's like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield, lame. Party on, dudes. Okay, from Nathan to Victoria. That Twemo bitch Max Cockfield got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down. And the end of the world party is fucking on. You win? Cheers, Prescott. From Victoria to Nathan. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That is bullshit. 
No way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was troubled the first time I saw her ass kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around with gets in trouble? And yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there, V. Yeah, they are pretty psychotic, aren't they? Okay, let's search through the trash can and see what we can find. Just to clean paint from a sweater. What? That amount you thirty dollars? Uh, not for really. I mean, that's kind of cheap-ish. Maybe. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Okay, we're all geeks of, of some kind. Don't be an asshole about it. Okay, so what else can we find here? Oh, bag. This could be good. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Courtney Wagner? Who, who's she again? Excellent. Well-researched essay with a unique point of view. Victoria Chase, Mr. Jefferson, Art Class, Blackwell Academy, October 1st, 2013. Essay, Noir and Day, Expressionist Photography by Victoria Chase. Oh, thank God we can't go through it. I was not going to read all of that. Nothing to see here. Victoria is about as street as me. But she really appreciates style. Okay, you might be right about that. You might be right. Is there anything else here? I'll title this one. Whoa, there's Kate. Yeah, a uh, Phoenix oh, crap already. Guy. She looks confused. Not like she's part. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. So I've seen everything here so there far, has haven't I? To be some oh, nada. All right. Time to go. Wait, Mark's room can we enter? Who is this Mark character again? Oh! M Max's room. I'm such a dumbass. So I thought it said Mark. Okay, Slate. Let's have a quick look at it. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Stop! We'll wait for Kate. Bullshit. So Victoria's room is the only room we can enter. God damn, we recorded for 20 minutes and I'm still stuck in here. Okay, there's nothing else here, is Oh! I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Likewise. So what about you, Taylor? Got anything to say? Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Uh, should I comfort Taylor or blame Taylor? You should believe it. She almost jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. What? You're, like, blaming me? As a matter of fact, yes. Then just get out of here. Like, stop fucking with me. I've got my own family shit to deal with. I'm done for the day. I said I'm, like, done, Max. Please leave me alone. Wait, weren't you in on the bullying, too? Or was it someone else? You know, I rewind time. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. 
Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. I like really do need to get some sleep nights. All right, but sasa sasa. I keep getting the controls mixed up. Either way, we gotta meet up with uh, what's her name now? Our friend. Um, damn it, I forgot her name. Uh, Chloe. Chloe. Yeah. Jeez, I spent way too Chloe's much time in that place. In front of the main hall. We have a little sit down. Chill out. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Okay, so we're having a bit of an inner monologue. That's nice. Uh, hey, squirrel buddy, can I get a photo of you? Oh. Come here, want to get a photo? No, no photo up? Okay. Alrighty then. No need to be hanging around here still. If he sees me, nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Wait, what? Didn't even catch all the dialogue there. Anyway, I just want to see the texts. Okay, one for mom. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud, so milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Ah. Ain't that sweet. And Warren. Yo, yo, Max, just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer. Cool? And you totally earned a dinner on me, along with our escape plan to Planet O Apes. Call me. Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cave tonight. Nathan got suspended too, so it was a good day. I'll call you later. Ah. Ever the flirter, aren't you, Warren? Oh, private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Hey, whore, feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Jeez. Fucking Nate is an absolute psycho. Prescott Dumbery, donated by Sean Prescott. Lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off, entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Oh my god, that's horrible. Wait, you're drinking. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Jeez. You are absolutely rotten, you know that? Go, 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 go. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Max the ninja strikes again. Okay, so where is Chloe? Jesus. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. <laughs> Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the planes. 
and find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Chaos Didn't you theory. say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Okay, about Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Do I think she's probably... Dead? Dead? No. I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me any. Ah, oh, what the f fuck? What the hell happened that time? That was weird. Hi, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well. How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, oh, you're weird. I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think no. that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Jesus, she is an absolute sociopath. So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Yeah, and let's go kick her ass from the school. Because she is a horrible, 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 disgusting excuse for a human being. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. <laughs> Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? We can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. 
Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Ooh, this place has a totally different vibe at night. Let's see, can I explore anywhere else? Oh, Kate's locker. Uh, anything here? So glad you still have your locker, Kate. And that's... Pr oh, it's open! Okay, contest pictures. Let's have a look. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I don't know, because uh, she is a horrible person. She may have some skills, but that doesn't negate her horrible personality. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Uh, yeah. Got to give him props. I mean, sometimes you just gotta separate the art from the artist. Ooh, cigarette pack. Can we take these? Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Stop! Anything else? No. But like I was saying about separating the art from the artist. I mean, sometimes because a person's artwork or skills or work ethic is good. That doesn't mean that they can't be a horrible person on the inside. Like as we've seen with some people on YouTube. Especially within the past uh, two, three years. They can put on this bubbly, outgoing personality, but in the background, they can be up to some really sinister shit. Okay, anyway, back to snooping There's around no here. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Okay, from David Madsen to Michelle Grant, whoever she is. Dear Mrs. Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it is my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favourite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 14.4% drop, or sorry, so does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this petition and consider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest and safe and private security. Sincerely, sincerely, Madsen David, or David Madsen, okay. So he hasn't put up the security cameras yet, he needs, uh, he needs uh, permission to do such a thing, alright. Ooh, look at this Only hat. Total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. You know what? You could be right. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is. Nah. Wait. Wait. How to feed your inner spirit animal? Wait, what's this got to do with Daniel? Oh, yeah, he was talking about uh, spirit animals before, wasn't he? Hurry up. That's it. What the fuck? 
The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Oh, yeah, and there just happens to be a key case over here. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Okay, what about in here? Boring. No. This one? Crap. Shorty here. Dead end. No, nah, it's gonna, gonna be more folders, I bet. Yeah. Nothing huh. here. No key for these. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't well, we... spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My well, we could bust down the door. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay, so we're going to construct an explosive, are we? Sodium chloride. What? Okay, it's just hard to use to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So, are you really going to try this key or just try about your wisdom? So, sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chloride. Now, pay attention. Double seven. Yeah, okay. And all of these items are going to be scattered war or throughout the school. Night. Let's see if I can find those items. Release the crack can. Yeah, give me that crack can. It's all mine anyway. Thank you. Anything else? Only three more items to go. I mean, if you're going to uh, make an explosive, you might as well just kick down the door. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Okay, we've got the sugar. Mm, sugar. And we've got some notes to look at. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. I oh, wonder, take from Warren. You still there? Did you blow up? Nah, not yet, bruh. You need to concentrate right now. Talk to you later. What were the other things I needed? Uh, sugar can, soda can, sugar, a soda can, uh -huh. sodium chloride, duct tape, and sugar. There wouldn't be any sugar around here, would there? Or... No, I, I got the sugar, I got the soda. Think. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Yeah, Good didn't. evening, fish. fish. Turn it on. Oh, perfect. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. What did she say if I turn on again? Nothing. Okay, I'll just turn off. So, 
anything else around here that I may or may not need? No, no. Oh, chemistry stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium fluorate. Oh, another photo up. And can I take that cigarette? Ew, gross. At least switch to e cigs Wait, how is a cigarette gross? I mean, it's a bad habit, but we can call it gross. And duct tape. I assume I could get this in here, maybe. In fact, I think this I might have like seen some. Scene in a horror film. I've seen some floating about around here. Yeah, here we go. Duct tape. The tape is mine. Now One the only left. Yeah, what what's the other ingredient? Sugar soda can ductate sodium chlorate. Okay, so sodium chlorate, I might get that in in the janitor's closet, maybe? Wherever that might be. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Good. Well, he didn't get smacked hard enough. Okay, Chloe, how's it going? Still working on it? Okay, good. I just need one more item. One more, that's all I need. Okay, let's learn about some science here. So, sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. No, well, he didn't bother his ass to, did he? So, weed killer. Yeah, that would definitely be only in a a janitor's closet. It wouldn't be here. I probably should find those items now. Unless I could be wrong, it could be here. No, this mixture doth not work. Where else could it be? Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the sodium chloride box. What just now? You're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Ah, smart. Okay, now time to blow this joint. That Max is the bomb. Ooh, sounds like a bit of terrorism going down. You know, bombs and whatnot, explosives. Although, it's probably not going to be as big as I think it's going to be. All right, now it's time to blow the joint. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. Yeah. Why is the light so, so cool. weird? Get ready to haul ass. Oh, that there we go. Was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Uh oh. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Okay, well, let's see what we can find in here quickly. Come on, it's gotta be something. It's gotta be something. It's gotta be something. It's gotta be something. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, okay, that was just a big waste of time. Okay, 
Okay, time to skedaddle. Shit, shit. Do something, Max. What you might do something? But what is there to do? Shit, shit. Do something, Max. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Okay. I think if this bastard opens, she can't cheat with her real one. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. <laughs> Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and feed it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. All right, so let's How see can what we can somebody find. somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Alright, now we've plenty of time to scour through these. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. All right. Student information sheet. Kate Beverly Marsh. GPA 3.9. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBay 7 News. And her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She is also one of the best attendance records in school history. Principal Wells, as a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Ber Berenci? Berenci? I don't know. Update. At the present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Yeah. Okay, so that's all we're getting from that. Only two more files to go. So did you load the lock? Una bomber? Oh please, I just want to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. Oh, nice. You're not so tacky up close. Okay, so what else? Oh, 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 what's Browser. in here? This will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Ah, uh, yeah, imagine dealing with entitled parents every day, and day in, day out. There. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Principal Wells. In light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwood Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. 
Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Ooh, big man with big monies. What a douche. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my sad, unpleasant, regrettable duty to inform you that your petition to block the new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. I recognise the controversial nature of these cameras, and rest assured they will be implemented with the utmost concern for privacy. Thank you for your passion and inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will not be too discouraged by the outcome of the petition. We are proud of them. Best Principal Wells. Okay, still not a file though. Oh, whoa, wait, 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 what do we have pile. here? Look at this pile. Weird. What about here? This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. <laughs> I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Why does he look like he has a criminal background? Okay, so student information sheet. Nathan Joshua Prescott, GPA 3.7. Oh, not bad. Nathan Prescott continues his family historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. He stands as an asshole, more like. What about you? Brief summary. GPA 2.8. Oh, that's bad. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quite attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quite intelligence. Though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police and faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. Oh, lovely. And she's got a GPA of 3.9. Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy. A student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography, Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell, Spirit and History. Ah, sh sh give me a break. And, ooh, Warren GPA 4.0. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Let's I'll nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted it's gotta to be in here. Rachel doesn't it's... seem so troubled based on all this. But there's oh, not she... much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Oh. Bad Chloe. 1.7. Okay, let's get a bit of information about Rachel. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for a quick return to continue her academic excellence. Okay, brief summary. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student for representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modelling, there is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just want to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. 
Thanks for all your help, Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Arcadia Bay PD. And gave okay, what about Chloe here? Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell. Despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically, Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non mentory institution. Update. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Ooh. Okay. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Okay, okay, right. I've been recording for a little over an hour now. I think I've done enough. So this might be a two-parter. So what I'll do is what I'll do once I've finished recording this, I'll get straight into recording part two and I'll record them or I'll edit them both simultaneously at the same time. Hopefully with, without leaving them by, by the sidelines, because that's what I often do. I record, then I sort of partially edit them while playing Overwatch or what, whatever other game I might play in the background. But I need to dedicate my time to editing them in one go in full. So that's what I'll try and do from now on. Anyway, guys, with that I being said... Okay, thanks for that input, Chloe. Anyway, guys, I know I probably wasn't really up to scratch in this video. The heat wave is killing me. It is frying my brain. It is frying my speech. My mouth is awfully dry. It is a nightmare, but it's cooled off a little bit. So hopefully, 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 I will be better equipped in the next video and better prepared and more hydrated. Anywho, with that being said, you know what to do if you did enjoy this video by some miracle. Be sure to leave a nasty, dirty little comment in the comment section below, and of course, drop a like or a dislike, whichever, and as always, I will see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya!